Al Jazeera network responds to accusations by the Palestinian Authority. Qatar mourns the death of former Al Sadd captain Sultan Bakhit Al Khwari. Qatar Central Bank amends its mortgage regulations. And finally, Qatar bows out of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Hi, it's Ali. This is the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Al Jazeera has dismissed accusations by the Palestinian Authority over what it had described as quote, imbalanced coverage of last week's brutal Israeli raid at the Jenin refugee camp. A letter signed by Palestine's Deputy Prime Minister accused the network of lacking professionalism in its journalism. It also warned the flagship network that action would be taken if it continues its approach. However, the statement failed to clarify the issues in Al Jazeera's coverage. Responding to the claims, Al Jazeera said it conducted an entire view of its coverage in Jenin and found no traces of imbalance. Here in Qatar, the Football Association has announced the passing of former Al Sadd captain and Qatar national team player Sultan Bakhit Al Khwari. The former footballer has been capped by Al Annabi at least 20 times during the 90s. He played as a defender for Al Sadd and Al Gharafa, gaining fans from both teams. The circumstances surrounding his death have not been made public. Now, Qatar Central Bank has introduced fresh amendments to its mortgage regulations, which will be applied to Qatari banks and subsidiaries across the country. The Changes determine the maximum loan to value and tenor for mortgages across three categories. For the full breakdown, head over to our website. And finally, it's heartbreak for Al Annabi at the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Qatar's national team exited the tournament at the quarterfinal stage once again after losing 4 0 to Panama. Panama will now face off against either Canada or host the US in the semi finals of the competition. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.